Good morning to all the people of the world. This is your boy Jehoshaphat, a.k.a. Fat Boy Fish. Now, the topic that I want to hit y'all with today for is police profiling, racial folk profiling. I I wanted to to end what I wasn't finished on my uh it just it just cut out when I was doing my research earlier this morning time. So it was a lot of stuff that I did not get a chance to cover when I was doing my programming, my, 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 uh, my research for yesterday when I was checking all these different sites, you know what I'm saying? Cause your boy, when I do research and I bring research to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I might be doing research for two hours, three hours. It, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me because I'm going to tell you right now, leaving high school, uh, they didn't really prepare your boy for the world that was at hand. You know what I'm saying? And I have learned more as a person out of high school than any time I was actually in school. You know, you hear a lot of old people say, if I knew what I knew back then, it would have made it better for me now. You know what I'm saying? You always hear old people say that because that's a that's a saying right there. And I'm being honest with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know more. I did more study and I don't I don't know. But let's go back to our topic for today. Racial profiling. Now, me personally, y'all. Me personally, uh, let's say out of 10 times that I have been pulled over by the police and I'm not going to have no bias towards the police. It is some good women and men out there that's doing their job. And you know how I test police officers to see if, if they really want to be police officers. I ask them and I know a lot of police officers. I have a lot of encounterments with police officers in my life. And I ask the first question I ask any police officer. What, why is the reason why you personally want to be a police officer? If this officer takes more than five seconds to give you an answer, you might want to think about them. Now, back to racial profiling. Now, out of, let's say just let's give this 10, 10, uh, 10 times out of 10 times out of those 10 times. I'm not going to lie to you. all Three of those times I was faulty. You know what I'm saying? I had a busted tail light. Um. My tags had it. Somebody stole my tag off my car. Uh, tenant windows. My music was too loud. You know what I'm saying? So there is times to when the police pulled me over and I know they being righteous because I was in the wrong. I'm not going to sit here and up and down and say, oh, I'm so perfect and I don't do nothing wrong. That would be a lie. And I'm not prepared to do that to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But out of this 10 times, let's say three of those times. I was in fault. Let's say three to four. Let's get let's bump it up one more time. Four of those times out of those tens, I was in faulty. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But them other six times, I know, you know what I'm saying? I know that I was being racially profiled. At when I was 18, I used to think, okay, they pulling me over because they think I don't have a license. You know what I'm saying? That's why they fucking with me so much. But after after so many different police officers pull you over for that issue, you know what I'm saying? It is known that you have a license. And then I would see a lot of our brothers and sisters getting their cars taken away from them. So I, I, I thought about that. And maybe that's the reason why they pulling me over. But as I steadily got older and older and older and it kept on reoccurring more and more and more, I'm sitting there. I'm like, why do all these people, why do all these police be pulling me over? It, it just cannot be for, uh, uh, you think I don't have a license. You, you, you pull to my car, check all my information, see, I ain't did nothing wrong and send me about my way. That's kind of fishy right there. I cannot say that that's not being racially profiled. And as I, I look at the situation, as I, I got older now, it's a shame. I, I, when I, when the police get behind me, I play games to see if they're following me. I change my lane. He get in that lane. I change my other lane. He get in that lane. So after I play these little games with them, eventually I pull over before they have, they even got the chance to pull the lights on me. I remember the one police officer and I was in the wrong in this time. I was in the wrong. He said, you know, I was going to pull you over. You don't have to follow me for fucking three to four miles for me to know that you fucking with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I how, 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 how non-educated do a person got to be to know that they being followed? I mean, really, if you, if you look at that on that scale, how smart do a person really got to be to see if they being followed by the police? So I play these little games, you know what I'm saying? I turn one lane, I hit one corner, they right behind me. I'm like, fuck it. They going to pull me over. Fuck it. Uh, yeah, let me pull over to the side of the road, but I'm not playing no dumb games with them. Now I've been doing my, my police, uh, 
my police uh, training as in how I'm going to conduct myself when they pull me over. I put, I take my keys out the, uh, the ignition. I put them, I place them right on the dash to let the police know. I'm not fit to run from your ass. I don't have nothing to hide. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to tell you a lie. I'm not scared of no fucking ticket. Excuse my language, y'all. And remember, there is a lot of police officers, men and women, that put their lives on the line for us every single day. I'm not talking about the good ones. I'm talking about the ones that's out here racially profiling people and messing with people for no apparent reason. So, you other officers, I'm not talking about y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is not about you. This is about people that have that badge that's not doing their job. Now, the line of professional work that I am, do you think that I would think that everybody that has my job is going to do 100% of the what they're supposed to? Do you think that I would think in my head that 100% of everybody who put on the uniform that I have to wear and do my job are doing their job? Only the ones who feel passionate about their job is doing their work. Only the ones who want to do their job to their best ability is out there doing a good job for us. So, yeah, I just want to hit y'all with my topic for today, racial profiling. I want you to comment, you know what I'm saying, what you think on what I said. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I put that out there in my disclaimer real real fast. This is your boy, Fat Boy Fish. I come to y'all to gain knowledge I come to y'all to tell the truth. The only thing I want to know in this life at the age that I am is the truth. So if you ain't got no truth for me, if you ain't got no knowledge for me, if you can't help your boy bump up his game, we ain't got nothing to talk about. So all my brothers and sisters out there that's actually showing me some love, man, I ask that God be with y'all all the days of y'all life and strengthen y'all. But I'm running out of time. I got to get back to the, the ball and the whip. <laughs> Got to get that money. You know what I'm saying? Got to make that money. So I'm going to have to get up off. I'm going to have to get up off of here. Peace and blessings to all the people of the world.